Hey, E, what's, uh, oh, did you see the new Avengers movie? And there were eye-popping special effects? That good, huh? Damn. Hi, James from Ingvid. Just having a conversation with Mr. E about the Avengers movie. He said the special effects, which are when you see big explosions or superpowers or the Incredible Hulk, they're special effects. They're done for visual, or they're done to make a movie visually seem very great or stunning or amazing. And he said they're eye-popping. Now, some of you might say, what does that mean? Well, today I'm going to teach you, um, well, what this video, why we're doing this video, is to do, help you express something that ordinary emotional words won't say. It's one thing to say something is nice or big or really good, but to say something is eye-popping gives you a greater power. You are able to give people a deeper understanding of what you're really feeling. Ready? I know you're excited about it. Me too. So let's go to the board and take a look. Now, how I'm going to do that today is we're going to introduce to you some vocabulary you may not know. Some of you may know it. And we're going to give you, or I'm going to give you, uh, sometimes, you know, what is going on in the person's head or the best situation. And that way I can get you to be able to express yourself properly using these particular phrases. Now, um, just for a little aside, and that means a little note, you might see a hyphen in some of these, and some of them you don't see it. Today I'm actually using the Oxford model, and that means the Oxford Dictionary. Um, but these are things that you would say, you would never really write them. So some of you grammar heads going, oh my gosh, there's a hyphen or there's no hyphen. Don't worry about it. You're not going to be writing this down. And if you do write it down, just look at the country you're in. If you're in England or America, the rules might be slightly different in those dictionaries. I'll follow those, uh, those rules. Okay? Good. So let's get to the board. Nail biting. What do we mean by nail biting? If you're like this, <laughs> I don't mean typing on your nails, but <laughs> it's causing you stress or anxiety when you're really nervous. You see some people... <laughs> It's, they're not eating dinner. They're nervous or they have a lot of tension. But you know what? <laughs> Sorry, I made a small mistake. I want to go back. I will come back to this. I want to do the vocabulary first. Forgive me. Okay, because if you get the vocabulary as I go through all of this, it'll be much easier to understand. Okay, so let's do the quick vocabulary. Jaw. This is the lower part of your mouth. Your jaw is here. The part that opens up, that's your jaw. A jerk is a quick, sharp movement. So if somebody jerks you, or the best example is when you're on the bus, oh, and you do that, you got jerks. It's a quick, sudden movement. Maybe the bus stopped suddenly. Or if someone's jerking you around, they're pulling you around. Pop. It's like a small, small explosion. For some of you, pamelitas, if you're Spanish, it is a, uh, you know, popcorn. Popcorn goes, they pop. Slap. Bah. There's a great song uh, it's called uh, Boasty. Boasty with uh, Idris, uh, Idris Elba. It goes, get a slap on the chin, right? Uh, and it's to use the open palm and hit something with the open palm. That's a slap. Okay, so hit something with the palm of the hand and clench. He clenched his fist. It's to hold tightly or to make your hand and fingers come into this position. Clench a fist. Now it's in a fist. Hold tightly. Or strongly. Now that I've got this vocabulary out, you'll see how it applies to the phrases I'm about to go through. Okay, so if you have any problem, just quickly look over here and that will help you clear up the other ones. First off, nail biting. As I said, when you've got a lot of tension or you're very nervous, it will be nail biting. You do that when you're worried about something. If somebody's in an accident, you go, I hope they're okay, or maybe you're scared of something happening like, will I lose my job? There you go. Jaw clenching. Remember, I said clench is to hold tightly. I remember I said this is your jaw. If you see someone clenching their jaw, usually they are very determined, we will survive, or very angry. Sometimes we will say to restrain, which means when you hold yourself from doing something, 
Maybe somebody is saying something to you and you don't like it, and you find, I don't know if you can see this, I need closer, 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 they're like, they're holding themselves back. I actually had a boss, uh, a guy who employed me, it was quite funny, because whenever I said something he didn't like, he would go, and I didn't realize he was clenching his jaw because I was upsetting him. So I kept talking. Hmm, I wonder if I still work there. <laughs> anyway, okay, so if someone's very angry, they may clench their jaw or very determined, okay? Head shaking. Now, here's the funny thing. We all know this means no. When you're like, that's head shaking. It means I disagree or do you like this? No. Mm -mm. Do you, well, how about this one? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So it's not just no, it's I'm rejecting something. Or you don't agree with somebody. They're saying something, you're like, mm -mm, mm -mm. So yes, it's the no, but it's a little bit more than no. It's disagreement with what you're saying or a rejection of what you're offering to say no. Head scratching. I'm sure you've seen someone go like this. <laughs> if you've been to Ikea, and you have to put something together from Ikea, you know this one, and you're like, the A part goes with the B part that goes with the C, add on the Z, what the hell in tarnation, and I have 15 parts left. <laughs> Why am I so confused? When you're scratching your head, it's because you're confused or puzzled. Interesting fact. Scientists say that we scratch your head because it relieves the tension so when we're puzzled or confused, we scratch and it's like mom going, massage, relax. So you can relax your brain. Didn't know, you didn't know that, did you? Now you do. So head scratching. Knee slapping. Um, this is a funny one. <laughs> funny. It is a funny one. Because knee slapping is, if someone tells a joke and you're like, It's knee slapping. You slap, palm of the hand, your knee. Because it's funny. But you can also do it like this. <laughs> it's not funny. Not funny at all. Because you're being sarcastic. So people will often slap, slap their knee and go, ha, 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 ha. What a joke. It's not a good joke. So you actually have to pay attention. Sometimes if they're laughing and falling over, <laughs> that's knee slapping. It's real. Or <laughs> funny joke, pal. Not funny. Okay. Now remember what I said, the interesting thing about each of these is you have an emotion, but it actually takes it to another level. So in the case of knee slapping, when someone's doing this, it's so funny. I mean, it almost hurts. You have to hit your legs to control yourself. And when you're like, ha, 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 uh, it's not that I don't even find it funny. I don't find you funny. I don't find your face funny. I don't find your mother funny. I don't find anything funny about you. Mm, okay. Now, if you notice, I've gone from anxious to angry to disagree, and we're kind of going up, see? We're kind of going up here, heartwarming <laughs> and warm, like a blanket, and a blanket where you're eating toast. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just went crazy there. Heartwarming. Heartwarming makes you feel good. You can feel your heart getting warm and your chest getting warm because it's a lovely situation. Watching a mother with her baby for the first time smiling and the baby smiling back. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Tear jerking is on the other hand. It's, it's the exact opposite. It's like somebody, remember I said jerk is to suddenly pull. It's like you're happy and someone pulls the water, tears, from your eyes. It makes us a real tear jerker. Tear jerking is something when sentimental, it makes you think about the importance of something to you, like a watch your granddaddy gave you. Maybe before your granddad died, across the seas, he gave you his old watch and you've kept it in your family for 75 years. And if that watch gets lost in the seas or in a storm, it's going to make you cry because you're like, the grandfather brought it from a country far away years ago, blah, blah, blah. Okay or heartache, tear jerking. The man and the woman finally got together in the movie and then he dies from cancer. <laughs> it's a real tear jerker, seriously. I'm not joking. <laughs> not heartwarming, it's the exact opposite. Now, how about mouth watering? 
Well, have you ever gone, like, have you ever been really, really, really hungry? And then you've gone by a really nice restaurant and they have, I don't know, um, a steak and you can smell the steak from, from the, across the street and it's got some mashed potatoes and some asparagus and, and it's, you can just, mm, I'm hungry right now. I'm just, just thinking that's mouthwatering when your mouth gets actually water in it and you have to wipe your mouth. Now it doesn't just mean for delicious food. Some people find cars mouthwatering. It means it's so exciting that you lose control of your body and your mouth starts to water and you have to wipe it away. You could say that woman, she's got a mouthwatering body. It's like, oh, look at her. Bo- oh. Or for ladies, for you, that guy with that chest, oh, yep, yeah, you know, mouthwatering. Not me, <clears throat> not me, but other guys. Uh, that Thor, yeah, the Thor guy, Chris Hemsworth. Mouthwatering, right, women? Okay. <laughs> yeah, delicious, I guess you could say. And jaw dropping. Have you ever seen something and you're like, ah? And I'm not talking about stupid people who walk like this out of the car. I'm talking about something that's so amazing, you turn and you go, what the hell? And your mouth just opens up and stays down. Remember I told you jaw over here? Now you know why I explained it. If something's jaw dropping, it's so amazing that you lose control of your body once again and your mouth just falls open, okay? So if you heard the price, if I said, I will give you a brand new 2020 Mercedes Benz for $1, you'd go, what? Jaw open, cool. Now eye popping, means astonishing or amazing. You're like, whoa. One good way to think about it is, imagine if your partner, be if you're a girl, it's a boy, if you're a boy, it's a girl, came home with bright orange hair. I mean, bright orange, you'd be like, whoa. If you look at my expression, my eyes are just, ah. It doesn't mean it's bad, it's just, it's really, really astonishing. It can be impressive. It can actually also be bright. Some people have eye-popping colors on their cars. You can see the car a mile away because it's really impressive. Okay, so it's not not necessarily a bad thing. It's just bright or impressive. So when you say, for instance, here we had Mr. E say, the special effects in the movie were eye-popping. It means he was like, wow, that's incredible. And it's not just, it's good. It's not just great. It's just, it made me change the position of my eyes involuntarily, which means I didn't choose to open my eyes wide. My brain went, wow. And that's the power of all of these phrases I gave you. Literally what happens is nail biting, you don't want to bite your nails. You lose control and you start biting them because it's so scary to you. Jaw clenching, you're so angry. Like my old boss, you can't help it. Your mouth just kind of clenches up. Head shaking, somebody says something, okay. I forgot another one, which is stupid. <laughs> when you're just like, Shh. I think my dad did that a lot when I was a kid. You go, don't touch the fire, don't touch the... <laughs> and I would touch the fire, of course. And he would just shake his head, okay? It's not that he wanted to watch me burn <laughs> and shake his head. He was just like, oh. And his brain was saying, that boy's stupid. <laughs> anyway, head scratching, you don't do it on purpose. Your hand just goes up there as you're trying to figure it out. And as I explained in psychology, they say it's to make you feel calmer by scratching to relieve that tension. All of these things happen because your body does something, not involuntarily, but it does it before you actually think about it. And that's what makes it cool. But by using these expressions, when you say it was really a heartwarming movie, you're saying it struck an emotional place in me. I was gonna say chord, like in music, an emotional chord that made me feel more than I can probably say, or my words aren't good enough to explain it to you. Now, I hope I've done a good enough job explaining these to you, because of course we have to have a quiz, and you've got a bonus section, and we've got homework, because you may not think you're in school, but class is in session. And we're back to the board. So, of course what I would like to do now is give us a quiz, because Learning means nothing if you don't really understand it. Or can you learn and understand? Ah. (laughs) What I mean by that is me showing you some things and you saying yes, 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 
doesn't mean you really understood it that you can use it. So you might have learned something new, but do you understand it well enough to use it? My little quiz is here, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of bonus stuff because you've been such good students and hanging around. So let's go to the board. The first one on the quiz is, Josh's wife looked amazing in her wedding dress. And if you remember what I said earlier on, when we use these phrases is to, because amazing is a pretty good word, but when you use the correct term here, it gives it so much more in meaning. So I'm going to give you five seconds and try and figure out, should it be jaw clenching or jaw dropping? Correct. If you picked B, that's correct, because it was like jaw dropping. I, she was so beautiful, ugh, my mouth just fell open, right? Even more than amazing and stunning. Let's try number two. Her joke was very good. That sounds good, right? Give you a couple seconds on that. Her joke was very good. Now, do you remember what I said when something is really, really funny? It makes you involuntarily slap you like, oh, ha, ha, ha. knee slapping. Because head shaking means you don't agree, which is almost the exact opposite of saying it was very good. You'd be saying it's very bad. How about number three? Many people were left puzzled by the president's Kofifi tweet. I'll explain it in a second. Many people were left puzzled by the president's Kofifi tweet. Puzzled means confused or you have a question. You're not too sure. Okay, so the first thing we're going to ask is, before we answer, if you probably don't know what Kofifi is, you're probably going, what's Kofifi? Correct. It is head scratching because you're confused. Now, what you might be thinking is, what is he talking about? What is this Kofifi? Well, it seems in uh, the year 2017, on May 31st, the President of the United States at that time had sent out a tweet, uh, you, know, you know, Twitterverse, and read this sentence. Despite the constant negative press, Kofifi. Now, nobody knows what Kofifi, no one knew what Kofifi was back then. And I think most people right now don't know what Kofifi is. We think it means coverage, but even still, the sentence isn't complete. So it's confusing or head scratching. So that's a lesson, boys and girls. Learn your grammar and complete your sentences. All right. That's why you watch Ingvid, so we can help you with this. We would like to have helped him with this one. Now, the final one, final one is waiting to find out if I got the job was a tension-filled experience. Which do you think that would be? Well, it could be tear-jerking. <laughs> oh, I got the job, man. Oh. But if you start crying like that, I think you're crazy. But really what we're looking at is nail-biting. Because if you're waiting for a job to find out if you've got a job, you're going to be very anxious and nervous. And if you remember rightly, I said filled with tension. So it's a nail-biting experience. So hopefully you got four out of four, which means you understood these really well. And if you didn't, you can go back and watch the video. But before you do that, or go do that now, but come back because I have a bonus for you. And I'm going to go through these here. These ones are to do with your hands. So you can talk about emotions, a strong emotion you're feeling with hands. The first one we're going to talk about is white knuckle. Now, if you grab something really, 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 really hard, the color on your knuckles, and these are your knuckles here, they will actually get lighter because you, you cut the blood supply, so they go lighter. So then they say something's a white knuckle experience or a white knuckle ride, it means very scary. Next, finger pointing. You've seen this before. Who did it to? Who? And that is to give blame. Blame is to say somebody is responsible for something bad that has happened. So if somebody says, Jeremy did it, Jeremy, I know Jeremy did it. They're pointing the blame. They're saying that that person is responsible for the bad thing. Fist shaking. 
I like this one because it reminds me of Homer Simpson. Any of you watch The Simpsons? Homer is often found going, Go, Mr. Burns! <laughs> oh, damn you, donuts! <laughs> and he's shaking his fist. It means to demonstrate anger when you do this, or frustration. Oh, my computer did autocorrect again! <laughs> and you never know what ha when that happens, what message you send out. So that's fist shaking. Now, a finger wag, I like this because in action movies, people use this a lot. The bad guy might go, or even the good guy. And when they say this, and your mommy might have said this to you or your daddy, like, no, 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 they mean no. But sometimes it's a threat. It's like, if you do this, bad things will happen to you. Finger wag. Cool? So those are your extra, your bonus. See, you stuck around long enough, you get bonus material. But it's not a complete class until we do some homework because you got to practice to get good. So today's homework, I would like you to put these two sentences or correct these two sentences. And the sentences are, the special effects of the movie were great. I actually kind of helped you with this one. If you go back to the video, the answer is hidden at the beginning. <laughs> okay. And the second sentence is, seeing the kitten and the puppy play was nice. If you answer these in the comments below, you will be given 100 million points for each one you get correct. Okay. So I'd like you to go in the comments, write your answers. And the beautiful thing is other students actually give you a thumbs up. So for if you're on YouTube and you get any thumbs up, you could actually add an extra 100 million points for every thumbs up you get. If you're anywhere else, you just got 100 million points and that's a good thing indeed, right? So there's a bigger quiz to make sure you understand this and that's your practice. So you're going to go to www.ing as in English, vid as in video.com where you'll find the full quiz uh, available there as well as other videos that I produced and some really other good teachers, uh, Adam, Ronnie, um, Rebecca, a whole bunch. You're going to love them. Go check them out. They're really good. And I'm going to let you go for now. Once again, thank you very much because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. So we greatly appreciate it. Okay. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.